Welcome to this Deep Blizzard course on AI art with Stable Diffusion. My name is Chris and we are delighted to have you with us. In this course, we will get hands-on experience with artificial intelligence using the cutting edge tools of generative AI. In particular, we will be using Stable Diffusion, the king model that has caused so much buzz in our society with generative AI art. And we will also be using the very popular Automatic 1111 interface. This makes working with Stable Diffusion a breeze. If you're here, then you've probably already heard about Stable Diffusion or at least AI art in general. It is taking the world by complete storm. We've never before been able to generate art or realistic images as openly or as precisely as we can now with these new AIs like Stable Diffusion. We will be making things like this. Here we have two images of Mandy from Deep Lizard. If you don't know Mandy, let me introduce you. This is Mandy here on the left, and the other one on the right is a synthetic Vietnamese version of her that was created with Stable Diffusion. This course is a hands-on AI project-based course, and this means that we'll be primarily learning by doing via hands-on activities, implementing examples, and working towards our ability to complete the end-of-course project, the Women of the World project. Our goal in this course is to get exposed to the field of artificial intelligence through the avenue of AI art. Throughout this course, we will be learning all about stable diffusion, an open source and freely available artificial intelligence that we can download on our computer today and use to generate images for free. As we journey through the ins and outs of Stable Diffusion, we'll be working towards and aiming at building enough skill and expertise to be able to recreate the end of course project, the Women of the World AI art project. The Women of the World project is an AI art project that was created by me here at Deep Lizard. The project takes in an image input of Mandy and transforms her into a particular version from every ethnic group in the world. And as a result, we get the project titled Women of the World. The skills needed to recreate this project using AI are next level. By the end of this course, beginners will have the skills necessary to create this project using their own input image. So instead of using the image of Mandy, you would want to use your own image of someone in your life, maybe even yourself. As you can see, the generated images here are extremely realistic with intricate detail. This is not the quality that you would otherwise get if you just showed up at a stable diffusion prompt on the web with no know-how whatsoever. However, through this course, we will understand exactly how we can create this amazing output with these realistic images. So let's talk about the course prerequisites. In order to complete this course successfully, you are gonna need a lot of heart and a lot of mind and a lot of will. Heart, mind, and will will definitely guarantee success in this course. However, don't worry, I'm only kidding. Even if you don't have these traits, you'll still be okay. This course is designed for beginners. To take this course, you only need to be generally savvy with a computer. If you're good at using Google and you know how to install software on your computer, it should be possible for you to successfully finish this course. This course will be challenging and it will be a lot of fun. AI art definitely takes the otherwise complex field of artificial intelligence and makes it really accessible and turns it into a lot of fun. This is especially true whenever we are generating compelling artistic images. I remember the first night that Mandy and I started experimenting with stable diffusion. We had a blast. We were laughing all night at the image outputs that we were getting of ourselves, transforming ourselves into different creatures and things of that nature. This course will utilize the Automatic 1111 interface, which is a very popular open source application that's freely available. We will be using this interface to work with Stable Diffusion, and for this reason, being a coder is not required to take this course. Note, however, though, that we will be writing some code in this course, but it is doable and not too difficult even if you've never coded before. Even so, if you really want to avoid the coding, we will be showing an alternative method that we can wiggle our way around the coding by using a professional editor, DaVinci Resolve, which is also free. Note that if you're hesitant about enrolling, 
we invite you to try a few lessons that are freely available on deeplizzard.com and especially go through the lesson on getting the software configured and installed. This is the first lesson in the course and it's currently titled as the Automatic 1111 and Stable Diffusion AAR Course Install and Setup. The goal at the end of that lesson is to have all of the software installed and then to be able to generate your first image using AI. So if you can get that installed and generate your first image, then you are ready to take this course, no doubt. So let's talk now about what we will be learning in this course. This course will cover everything you need to get up and running with Stable Diffusion. In fact, as we have said, you'll be able to generate your very first image using AI in the very first lesson. This is how we will test that all the required software is installed properly and that you are good to go for this course. Once everything is installed, we will be able to generate images. So this course is divided into two parts. Part one is titled The Introduction to Stable Diffusion. This is where we'll be introducing Stable Diffusion and learning how to use it. The second part of the course is more focused on the end of course project, the Women of the World AI Art Project. As we can see here in part one, we will be looking at the course introduction and the software setup as we begin. Then we will move on to introducing AI art and touching on the fusion models, the current models that are making AI art possible at this level. Then we'll be moving on to prompt engineering with Stable Diffusion. This is where we'll be discussing everything we need to know about the text that we type in to get the images that we want. And then finally, to round out part one, introducing Stable Diffusion, we'll be looking a little bit more deeply at the image generation parameters that Stable Diffusion has beyond just prompts. And in part two, we have two tasks. The first task is to learn about masking and in-painting with Stable Diffusion. And the second task will be to use all of the previous knowledge that we've gained throughout the course to generate the Women of the World AI art project. By the end of the course, you'll be able to generate compelling images with a degree of control that's simply not possible for some newbie that just showed up at a prompt for the first time. Along the way, we will be learning how things are working under the hood and touching on in a light way these underlying concepts and how the image generation process works technically. We'll be looking at and gain a full understanding of all of the following image generation parameters. We will be seeing how prompts work and spending quite a bit of time doing prompt engineering. This is where we will learn about text to image and then we will move on to image to image and we will learn about the input image parameter, the denoising strength, masks and mask blur values. And then we will turn our attention to seeds, sampling steps, sampling methods and the CFG scale along with the height and width values. By the end of the course, all of these parameters will be intricately fused in your mind because we will spend so much time talking about these, how they work and how to optimize their values to get compelling outputs. For beginners, this course acts as a stepping stone into the world of AI. If interest is sparked from this course, there is a whole learning path available through Deep Lizard to continue learning about artificial intelligence. With Deep Lizard courses, you can start as a beginner and move all the way to advanced. So as a quick course summary, this course is designed to get you introduced to the field of AI with a focus on generative AI art using Stable Diffusion and Automatic 1111. For prerequisites, we only need to have the desire to learn. There's no coding experience required. And as long as you can make it through the software setup and installation and generate your first image using AI, then you will be ready to take this course. The course is hands-on. We're taking a hands-on approach here and we'll be learning the concepts of AI art by creating stuff. We'll be creating lots of stuff, lots of images. We will be creating things like this here with a pink background, black and white, the year 1850, the year 1950, the year 2000, in the style of a Viking. So many different possibilities. We will be creating all kinds of art, loads and loads of images. Finally, I wanna discuss the resources that are available for you when you're taking this course. We have the video lessons for each topic and followed with written lecture notes. These lecture notes come in the form of blogs, 
on the Deep Lizard site. And each lesson also has custom quizzes following the lesson. And finally, we have custom intuitive graphics that we have designed, personally designed for each lesson. And finally, if you enroll in the course, you will gain access to the Discord server where you can come and collaborate and ask questions when needed. For more information regarding this course, be sure to check out the course page for this lesson on deeplizard.com. We hope that you'll enroll in this course and we know that you'll enjoy it. I'll see you in the lessons.